Hi, everybody. It's Bob Bloom. I'm here with Ted Thomas, an old friend and an expert, national expert on tax liens and tax deeds. And uh, so many of you have watched the other videos. Uh, and, and so this is our last video leading up to an online class that Ted is going to teach virtually. And, uh, and so, Ted, uh, after watching these videos, I, I've gotten a few questions from students. Uh, and, and so one of these questions is, is it possible to get started with just just a few thousand dollars? I mean, do you have to have big, big money to do this? You can start with uh, less than $2,000, but here's what I tell people. Uh, a tax lien in Florida on a $100,000 house is only gonna be 2,000. So you can get started and have a tax lien on one house. And that person either has to pay you all your money plus a high interest, or you'll get the property. So it's a good place to start. Now, a lot of people say, can I start for $500? Well, if you started for 500, yes, it's a little lot, you know, a little square lot somewhere. But the problem is, Nothing wrong with that. It'll work. But if you made if you made 18 percent on a little five thousand five hundred dollar investment, you're not making any money. So let's be investors. Be safe as you can. Everything about the sale will 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 show you what to do and what not to do. It's a safe, secure investment, predictable, certain and secure. Can't invest with me. You always invest with the county. So nobody's going to touch your money. So feel good about making those kind of investment. Start small. Believe me, you'll grow it fast. You'll you'll All like right. it. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So, so in other words, try it out with a little bit of money, see what happens. And, uh, and uh, if you like what the results, then do more, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Well, so it seems like anybody can do this because you're talking about, you don't have to travel to an auction. You can do it online from your home. You can do it with just a few thousand dollars. So what are some of the complications uh, about this? I mean, it sounds easy and I, and I, and I think it is easy, but, but there have to be some wrinkles. Well, I certainly try to make it sound as easy as I can. So I'm, 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 I'm an advocate of making things easy. Here's the complications. Every county is a separate government. Okay. So the separate government is under, under the county rules. Okay. The county comes under the state rules and the state comes under the federal. So we're not doing any business with the federal, but the states all came into, into a, uh, the United States at different times. So the rules along the eastern seaboard, you know, like from Georgia up to Massachusetts and Maine, they are old school rules. So you have to read the rules and how they want to do it. As they moved, as, as the country moved towards the West, the rules became a little easier. So you'll find a place like New Jersey, which is only as big as the county I live in, lots of, lots of rules, uh, 11 counties there. In my county, there's one county. In New Jersey, there's 11 counties in a little teeny state. So they have this complication in the rules. So rule number one, always know the rules. So that's a complication. You just have to read it. And it's always in a brochure or it's always online. It's always one or the other so that you can read the rule. So there's gonna be, so every auction is gonna be different. Now, when I say it's gonna be different, if I go to the auction this year, I can assure you when I go next year, I read the rules. Now, a lot of people are used to that. You know, for example, if you are a pilot or you are, an attorney or you're a teacher, you have to have ongoing training all the time. All right, most of us don't have to live under those rules, so we're not updating. So that's a complication. You need to do that. All right, here's the biggest one of all. The biggest one of all. You don't want to buy anything you haven't looked at. So don't buy anything you haven't looked at. By that, I mean, ladies, you wouldn't marry that guy if you hadn't seen him. Well, it's the same rule here with tax liens and deeds. I don't care if it's a lien, you know you're going to get paid on a lien or you're going to get the property, so it's safe. But you don't want to buy a junker. You don't want to buy a piece of crap. You don't want to do that. So take a look. So that's a complication. Now, what if it's 100 miles away? Well, then you're going to, we're going to teach you. Hire a local broker to go get pictures. You know, everybody's got a camera in their pocket. Take pictures. So we're going to teach you that. So the complications are you just have to be safe and secure. Don't do anything with that money that you wouldn't do, you wanna make sure you're safe with your money. So that's what kind of investor, I've never lost any money on any of these things, but I've seen clients, they buy a property five states away that burned down. Well, I can't stop them from doing that. I, they say, I was online, there was a picture. Well, how old was the picture? I mean, everything Google did years ago with all those street maps, that stuff's all dated, it's no good anymore. There's new satellites that do much better than that. So the complication is get yourself educated. That's what we'll do, and we'll do that on the 22nd. You will be astonished 
at what you learn in that six hour class. If you're learning a lot now, think about what six hours is gonna be like. Yeah, I mean, we've learned the difference between a tax lien versus a tax deed. That we've learned about, you know, the the auction process where you're live. We've learned about online buying it, uh, and and so yeah, there there are a lot of a uh, lot of things to know. That's what you're going right. to teach on the class. But let's say, Ted, you know, I'm an investor. You're an investor. Most of my students or my my clients are are investors. And, and so what if somebody really wants to make some serious money at this? What can they, can they make say 25,000, 30, 50,000 dollars doing tax liens? Okay. Our average investor is going to make 25,000 a property. Otherwise we don't do it. I mean, we're not buying a property and trying to get a property at 20,000 to sell it on 30. We're going to look at the property because it's coming up for auction. We can look at it. And so a hundred thousand dollar property at, by the tax assessor, we want to try to buy that for twenty-five dollars or $30,000. That leaves us some margin there between our purchase price and the value. Now, now, these properties are used and abused in many cases. So what you want to do is you want to sell it lower than the market. So that's just a strategy. So average is $25,000, $25,000, $25,000 and even fifty on a, on a property. Now, I'm not bragging when I say that. Now, as soon as someone wants to make serious money, all right, for example, I don't want to buy a property every month. I want to wait till I know that some of the bigger properties are going to sell. So every city and every auction is going to have some big properties. All right. Now the big ones, I'm probably not going to say you can buy it for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, but what if you get a $400,000 house for 40 cents on the dollar? All right. So 400,000, you've spent 160. Well, that's a player. That's a, someone that's got real money. So, well, wait a minute, Ted, you bought it for 160. Can you sell it for anything you want? Absolutely but you're probably gonna to have to do some work, 50, 60,000. So that's a real investor that might have 200,000 invested, but the property's worth 400,000. So if you wanna make big money, that's what I do. I try, I'm looking for the big, but I've been at it for 30 years. I'm happy to show you people. I'll show you a woman in a few minutes, bought online, okay? She made, she made a $24,000 investment and she didn't wanna sell it then because it was just earning money. Mm -hmm. And I said, Deborah, just sell it. She said, oh, no, I'm, I'm making a 40% return. I said, just sell it. Well, two years later, she sold it. She got her 25 plus another 25, and she had made 40% each year along the way. My name's Deb Murphy, and I'm here in Kelowna, British Columbia. I had purchased my first property. I bought it for $24,000. It'll literally sell for, it'll sell for $70,000. I'll probably list it around 75, 76, and it'll, it'll sell. I did it all online, by phone and by um, computer. Ted's material showed me that I can depend on uh, the county records, what's online as far as property appraisers records, what's online as far as all the documentation uh, around a property that I could depend on knowing 75% of what's going on with that property without even stepping foot on it. So there's just so much more available online and that's why we can do it successfully now from Canada. Ted really fills out the full picture. He wants you to be successful. So wow. you tell me, what do you want to do? And she okay. did all that online. I'll show you a picture of her in a minute. Okay, pretty nice, uh, pretty yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. So, so just to be, you know, a little skeptical here, but you know, yeah, uh, some, of, some of my clients are going to be grandmothers and grandfathers and, and some are working people who, you know, don't want to take big, big risks, but they'd sure like to make, you know, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 uh, on, 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 and, and, you know, an extra 20, 30, 40,000. So is that realistic in this business? I mean, you've just talked about, you know, someone buying big properties. Is that a realistic thing or is that just okay. an outlier? It's more than realistic, okay? Now, you're not gonna get, in the old days we did, you're not gonna get a property for 5,000 and sell it for 100,000 because mm -hmm. now there's more people out there. I teach about 150 people a month, every single month. That's what I'm, I'm teaching people. So I have uh, people out there that are actually competition in the market, all right? But there's so much with 3,000 auctions. So it's just a matter of you picking and choosing. And let me just grab, I didn't know you were gonna ask the question, but let me just grab a brochure. All right, this says Sullivan County on it, which you probably can read. It'll probably tell me 
yeah, the, way up here, you can barely see it. 245 properties for auction. Okay. Yeah. It's just a brochure for that auction. Sullivan County is 150 miles from New York City. Now, in this in this brochure, I can uh, thumb through it and we can find a property that's worth four hundred thousand dollars. But they're going to start the bidding at the back taxes. I only know what they're going to start at. But if you show up and I show up and your friend with all the money shows up, you know, you and I are going to humbly stand over in the corner because he might or she might put up a lot of money and buy that. So there's going to be those properties. Now, what does the average person starting want? They want to do something under $50,000. They got 10, 20s that they want to invest. You put a $10,000 investment, you ought to be, be able to come out of it with a nice $25,000 profit. Okay, I'm only making estimates because if I told anybody other than that, they would know I was full of prunes and I've been at it a long time. Believe me, I've been doing this for 30 years. I don't see people losing money, but I see them buying property and saying they're going to sell it for $5,000. Well, that's ridiculous. You want to buy a property, try to make 25. We teach you to buy 25, make 25 and 50,000. That's what we teach. Very nice. Well, yeah. sounds like uh, anybody who wants to learn how to do that ought to be in your class. That's uh, that's coming up when January 27th. Let me show you a grandmother. Okay. And this grandmother is going to surprise you. Now, she lived uh, uh, with her family. And what she had to do is she went to a family to get the money. All around the family got the money. And she went to an auction in Seattle. And you'll instant, instantaneously see how she made a lot of money. So a property came up and it was listed as a single family residential lot. And the price on it was 20, starting bid was like 25,000. Well, she had done her homework and found out it was not a single family residential lot. Mm. It was a single family four properties. Mm -hmm. So the bidding started, it went back and forth. She spent $34,000, which she borrowed from her family members. Mm -hmm. Within six months, I'm going to show you a video of it. Within six months, she sold the property. Now remember, she bought it for 34. There was four properties, not one. She sold it to a developer for $138,000. Wow. Why was she able to do that? Because we said, Go get the papers, read them, get one of our coaches to read them with you if you have to, get an education. Don't you? Well, the coach picked it up right away and said, Look, this is four lots. Anybody in the room that doesn't pay 50 grand is crazy. <clears throat> well, there was other bidders, but they weren't paying attention because it was three o'clock in the afternoon. And she and her son stood there going like this. They spent 34. Here she is. Watch this. I'm Shannon Ulrich. A year ago today, we hadn't heard of Ted Thomas. With selling my first tax deed, I made two times my yearly salary in that six-month period. We paid around $34,000, which was 27% of the assessed value, one hundred and twenty. And then six months later, we were able to sell it for $135,000, which was 3.7 times our investment. So taking action can be can be frightening when you're stuck in a rut. I mean unless you want to be a drone all your life. I have a friend who refers to people as that go to work nine to five as drones. Yeah. One year after meeting Ted Thomas, I am a happier, wealthier person that I I feel my alive and um, I feel my potential more than I did a year ago. This program has given me two more years of my life where I didn't have to be going to an office. So it was no biggie to quit my job. Now I get to be a grandma, and every day is a Saturday. Those are real people. They own a farm. They had to borrow the money from all the relatives. They made $100,000. Uh, is this unusual? No, this is not unusual. But if I showed you all the numbers like that, you wouldn't believe me. But I can show you video like you just saw for an hour or two at a time, every three minutes a different one, because I have 30 years experience. So if the person will study, which is why we say come to this class, don't be shooting from the hips.
the education makes a difference. Why does it, did it all change? 200 years ago when they created it, they were working in a couple of little communities along the East Coast. Now we have properties that people think nothing of spending a million dollars for a property. Well, what if they die and don't pay the tax? It's coming back into the market. If you show up and nobody else shows up, the tax collector only wants the tax money. They don't want the property. Now, I don't make the rules. The government makes the rules. Now, let me show you one other man. This guy's name is Bob. He's originally from Missouri. He's a forester. Now, what's a forester? He's a guy that learns how to take care of the environment. He works for the big lumber company like Wirehouse or people like that. So every day in his job, he'll be on Vancouver Island. He'll be in the forests of, of Oregon. He'll be in the forests in, in part, middle parts of this country. And he's measuring the trees. And he's telling them, oh, oh there's, a, there's a disease in these trees. And telling them, you're going to harvest this now or there's going to be it. So he tells them when to harvest. So he's a very technically qualified person. But he never, didn't have time for investing. So I taught him how to do it. And now he buys, he specializes just in the state of Georgia. You might remember I said that was my favorite because you can't earn less than 20% in Georgia. The smallest you can earn in, in one day in Georgia, 20%. One day, 20%. So he buys in Georgia. He's done over 100 purchases just in the state of Georgia. Wow. There's so much because Georgia has 169 counties. That means... There's 169 auctions every month. Now, you live in Texas. Texas has authorized 254 auctions every month. Wow. If you've never heard Ted Thomas again, on the first Tuesday of every month, you can go to an auction in Texas and learn it. Take a year and a half. I can teach it all to you in six hours on the 22nd. Can you do it by them online in Texas too? Can you do it online? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can do online and offline. And uh, um, I'm going to recommend you go to online because you'll make a, you, you'll, you, pe people, people online bid more and pay more than offline. Okay. See, offline, the people are saying, wait a minute, I got to write the check. <laughs> online, they're just banging away on the computer. So the prices actually go up online. Now, mm -hmm. I'm surprised I'm saying that. I thought it would be the other way around. But you yeah. kind of get the idea. Wow. So, well, well, there's a lot to learn. And uh, I think this is a, just a fascinating kind of business. And I think a lot of people are going to be very interested in it because, I mean, these rates of return uh, for the amount of work you're doing, for the amount of effort you're putting in, pretty darn good. Okay. Pretty nice. Let me say two things before you go. Number yeah. one, thank all your colleagues. Thank sure. all your residents of your state. Believe me, all of us appreciate what you're trying to do at the border. We do appreciate it. And uh, if we can support you, we'll do that. Absolutely. And then secondly, for all of you folks, uh, this event, I do it on a regular basis. I'm going to do it on the 22nd. I'd love to have you there. Believe me, you'll get 100 times your money's worth. Everybody that comes to this stays. Now, I will tell you this right now. I'm there as part of the event. But at the very close of the event, that's when I grade myself. And if 100 people come on, on on the first hour, I know that I'll still have 90 people or more on the sixth hour. So this is a content-filled webinar, and uh, not webinar, but a uh, seminar. But I'll have that. It'll last all day. At the end of the day, I'll tell you how you can get involved. But all through the event, you'll see people buying tax liens. You'll see them buying tax deeds. You'll see real people. This isn't anything that's made up. I've been doing it for 30 years. And my hat goes off to all of you for watching the video. And a big thank you to Bob. I appreciate you. You bet, Ted. We appreciate you. Thanks for telling us about this great uh, business, tax liens, tax deeds. So uh, the, the, the virtual class is going to be January 22nd. Is that right? 22nd. And they can go right below us and they can go ahead and, and register anytime they want. But they'll also, you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be sending them a note on their email coming up yeah. starting in just a couple of days. Okay, we'll do. Well, take take care, Ted. Thank you. Thanks for explaining. You're welcome. All I'd have to say that the best uh, dollar for dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land it happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. 
the tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien, and I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten dollars or $20,000 off of a deal.